Hi folks, uh, we're here at Stephen Books with Juliette Marillier for our deconstructed event which you can assemble at home. So uh, Juliet has signed uh, a lot of books for us for the shelf and also all of the personalised books that uh, people requested. So those will be going out in the next few days. I'll be contacting you to collect them or if I'm mailing them to you, I'll be heading down to the post office to do that. To complete the uh, deconstructed event components, uh, Juliet has agreed to do a short reading from the book. So I will leave that to her and uh, get out of your frame. Thank you, Stefan. Um, I'm going to read the whole of chapter two. Chapter two is very short. Um, and without further ado, I'm just going to do it straight away. Sounds screech and clash and assault my ears. My head shivers like a bell struck by a heavy hammer. My eyes hurt. My neck hurts. Some of the sounds come from my own mouth. I can't stop them. Groans, moans, grunts, shouts, but not words. The words are in my head, but they won't come out right. I'm hot, I'm cold, then hot again, throwing off the blankets and shouting at Fergus as if this were his fault. Aku is close by. I hear him talking, though he's keeping it to a murmur. And I shout at him too. I curse and swear and rage, and it's the garbled ravings of a crazy man. If this is how things are going to be from now on, I'll be out of this hut the first chance I get, and I'll run for the cliffs and hurl myself off. At least that way it'll be over quickly. They put me on a boat. The sea goes up and down and I'm sick. Someone wipes my mouth and I push them away hard. Then there's someone holding me, someone strong, and I sit there in the dark as the ferry bounces over the waves and my face is damp with sea spray and I hear the birds screaming farewell. If I could pray, I would pray to be as I was before, but I do not believe in gods. Men are cruel, fate is cruel. I can see almost nothing. One eye looks out on utter darkness. The other opens to a shadowy world, all greys, in which shapes move but cannot be identified. I cannot fight. I cannot ride. I cannot be the warrior I have worked so hard to become. I cannot be strong. I am as I was before, the helpless child, the boy without answers, the one who lived in fear. I wish I believed in gods. Thank you, Jude. Well. That was from A Dance With Fate, which is the second of the Warrior Bards series of books. And uh, apparently Juliet's working very hard on book three. Mm -hmm. So uh, unlike certain other authors we won't name, you can expect uh, book three to um, arrive sometime in the not too distant future. Uh, it's a terrific read. We have plenty of copies in store that are now signed and very special. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, I appreciate that under the current circumstances, our usual events aren't really possible. However, uh, you can get a book, you can have a listen to Juliet reading and you can enjoy them. So we'll make the best of the situation, but most importantly, continue to enjoy wonderful Australian written books. Thank you very much. Thank you.